So I did some googling to find 10 bug snacks that people had the hardest time trying to catch, and today we're going to go over how you can catch all of those. This will help you get the gotta catch them all achievement for catching 100 bug snacks in the game. We aren't going over every bug snack in the game because most of them are pretty easy to get, it's just some that give people a little bit of a challenge, so that's why we're going to go over these 10 today. And now, let's get into it. The first bug snack in this list is going to be the Scoopy Banoopy. This is a big ice cream sundae creature that wanders around on the frosted peak. You won't be able to catch it as it is because it's freezing and will freeze you and your traps when touched by it. So the key here will be to heat it up using a nearby fire, then while the timer's going get a trip shot set up and run him into it to trip him so that you can catch it. If you wait too long and the timer runs out, it'll break apart into different bug snacks so you definitely need to be quick on this one. The second bug snacks we'll go over is the Instabug. This is another one found on the frosted peak and you might have a hard time finding where it hides. If you come over to the big cave where one of the future bug snacks on the list lives, you'll be able to see a bush shaking from something inside of it. It can really be on any of the bushes that are outside of that cave entrance and down below. Once you find the shaking bush, that's going to be the Instabug, but we do need to find a way to get it to come out of hiding in order to catch it. The way to do this is to get your camera out because it loves having its picture taken. So the way I handled this was just to place a trap next to the bush where it would come out, I took out the camera, and then quickly swapped back to the trap to catch it. You do have to be pretty quick with this one as well as the instabug runs as soon as the camera gets put away. The third bug snack we'll go over is the pop tick. This is one that isn't really that hard to figure out, but the area where they're found can make it pretty annoying. Over on the Scorched Gorge, you'll need to come down around here where there's a couple of pop tick kernels running around near Scorpenio. The trick here is just to cover the pop ticks in hot sauce so the Scorpenio will shoot it and catch it on fire. After a few seconds, the pop tick will pop into the form that you'll actually be able to catch. The only thing here is really that there's water nearby so you have to make sure it doesn't go over there and put out the fire before it pops. You then just have to lay down a trap in its path to catch it. And of course, that nearby Scorpenio makes it tough as it'll try to shoot your trap, but that's partially why it's number 4 on the list. And going along with this for number 5 is its cousin Scorpepper over in the Sizzle and Sands. These two are too hot to be caught, so they'll just burn your items, but that means we'll just have to cool both of them off first in order to get them. For the Scorpepper, you can bait it down to the water by covering a buggy ball and cheese and bringing it over to the Sodi in the water, or the other way around. For the Scorpenio though, you're gonna need to bait it over to the stream to get it wet down there to cool it off. With both of those, you can then catch them once they're not too hot. Speaking of bug snacks that are too hot to catch, we have the Flamin' Sheepoof and the Noodler for numbers 6 and 7. These are both in the lava caves of the Boiling Bay and are kinda tough to get wet so that they'll cool off. With there being so much lava in that cave, they also can just easily heat back up if you do manage to get them cooled off if they touch the fire. So I found the easiest way for both of these is just going out to the sodi in the ocean, baiting it using a buggy ball covered in some kind of sauce down into the cave, and once it gets far enough in there, it actually changes its pathing to one where it walks into the cave and then back into the hall over and over. With this, you can sit back and allow it to spray down the flame and cheapoofs and noodlers until they stay cool enough for you to catch them. It may take a little bit for the timing to work out for this, but it's a very low effort way of getting both of them. Next up, we'll be heading over to the Simmering Springs for number 8. Out here we have the Baja Tockroach, which actually took me a little bit to find when I was looking for my last bug snack in the area. This is one that only comes out at night and shows up in the area where Wiggles Camp is. So you'll need to wait until nighttime, go over there, and then either toss a trap down and let them run into it, or launch one over to catch them. We'll then be heading over to the DLC island Broken Tooth for number 9, the Millimoki. This is one of the giant bug snacks residing here on this island and has a few parts that make it a tough one to catch. First off, it's giant, so you'll need to use one of these special seasoning mixes to shrink it. It's also freezing, so you'll need to heat it up with fire or a flaming bug snack to heat it up. Then after both of those conditions have been met, you'll need to use a trip shot to trip it, and then you can finally catch it. Needless to say, it may take a little bit for you to get all of that done in time. Then for our 10th and final one we'll go over, we'll do the big boss bug snack, Daddy Cake Legs. 
For this one to be available, you'll first have to get to the end of Snorpy's quest line. At that point, he'll have you come up to the Frosted Peak to this cave we were looking at earlier, and the Daddy Cake legs will spawn. I put this on the list because it's one of the harder ones to get done mechanically. You have to try to time trip shots that are on fire to hit each of its candles to light them all up. This can be tough to time and to actually hit your shots, and you'll have to do this multiple times in different areas before you can finally catch this one. And those are 10 of the hardest bug snacks to catch in Bug Snacks. Now, be sure to check out my playlist for my other Bug Snacks videos, including my 100% achievement guide, or whichever one of my videos YouTube recommends.